What's up guys, I'm Brian Sakawa. You're watching He Spoke Style, and today we're talking about why your first suit should be a navy suit. All right, so one of the questions I get most often from readers, as well as friends of mine, is, okay, I'm taking the plunge, I'm ready to get my first made-to-measure suit, what color should I get? And I am glad that I get this question a lot because one of the most common mistakes I see is guys going with a black suit as their first suit. And I'm gonna be honest and admit that that was me as well. And as a matter of fact, when I first started He Spoke Style, I bought a black suit and I did a series of posts about how to wear a black suit. It was one of the first uh, of the One Piece Many Ways posts that we've done over the years. And you can see it right there. All right, so what is wrong with a black suit? Well, there's really nothing wrong with it. It's just that it is not a very versatile suit. And when you're thinking about your first suit, especially your first made to measure suit, versatility really needs to be the number one thing on that priority list. Because let's face it, if you're spending the money, you really should and need to be getting a return on that investment. And when it comes to versatility, there really is no more versatile suit than a classic navy suit. And here are the reasons why. First is that you can wear it pretty much anywhere. If you think of all the dress codes out there, short of black tie, you would be hard pressed to find an instance or an occasion where a navy suit would be inappropriate. I mean, just think about it. For business, this is your workhorse business suit. Business casual, check. This is a suit you could wear to a cocktail party, a wedding, holiday party, semi-formal, and if you're really in a pinch and don't have a tuxedo, if the fabric of the suit is right, you could wear it with a black bow tie and get by. Uh, I've done that before on the site, and you can check that out right here as well. Next, a navy suit is extremely easy to dress up or dress down. For a job interview, it's perfect with a white shirt, rep stripe tie, and white pocket square. For something a little bolder, try a gingham shirt with a knit tie and some double monk strap shoes. For a casual date or cocktails, wear it with a nice denim button down, no tie necessary. And you can even be more casual if you want by wearing it with a t-shirt and some white sneakers. Next, a navy suit is just really easy to match. There is almost no color that doesn't look good with a navy suit. You can wear it with brown shoes, you can wear it with oxblood shoes, you can wear it with black shoes, leather, suede, and if you're building your wardrobe with these very classic menswear pieces in mind and an eye towards a very classic color palette like blues, grays, and tans, they are all perfect complements to a navy suit. Which leads to the last reason that a navy suit needs to be your first suit, and that is that it gives you a very strong separate game. Now here's where the idea of versatility really comes into play, and you can really see the benefit of building a wardrobe with that in mind. Now I would say that the one menswear piece that would be considered the most timeless and classic is a navy blazer, and if you get the right navy suit, you also have that jacket. Not only that, but you've got a great pair of pants and any number of ways to style them with other pieces you probably already have. Now, one of the most important factors when it comes to making sure that you are able to get this kind of versatility out of your navy suit is the fabric you choose and the detailing. If your goal is versatility, which it should be, you do not want to go with a fabric that has any kind of sheen. That's really going to limit the number of options you have, especially when it comes to breaking the suit into separates. So the suit I'm wearing in this video is what I'd consider my workhorse navy suit. It's from Michael Andrews Bespoke, and I'm gonna walk you through some of the details I chose to maximize its versatility. So first, let's start with the fabric. This is a hop sack, and hop sack is not technically a fabric. It's a method of weaving the fabric, and as you can see, it creates a very nice texture. And that texture is what contributes to its versatility and wearability in a variety of settings. The texture gives it a little bit more of a casual feel, which is great if you want to wear the jacket as a separate with more casual pants like chinos or jeans. One other thing that I really love about Hopsack and this fabric in particular is the way it sort of changes color depending on the light. It's a really neat effect and I personally find it quite attractive and desirable. Next, let's look at the shoulder. Now, this is a soft shoulder. You can see how the fabric rolls off very easily over my shoulder and down the length of my arm. This gives the jacket a more casual look. If you have a rope shoulder, that gives the jacket a lot more structure and it makes it much more formal. So again, if your goal is to be able to wear the jacket as a separate, choosing a softer shoulder is a great way to go. Pockets. Now, you basically have three choices when it comes to pocket styles. Jetted pockets, 
flat pockets, and patch pockets. Of the three, jetted pockets are considered the most formal and patch pockets the most casual. Now, as you can see, I went with patch pockets on this jacket specifically because I wanted to be able to wear the jacket alone and also because I knew this suit would be the one that I would wear a lot when I'm traveling. And patch pockets are great for travel because it's really easy to slide things in and out that I need easy access to like my wallet, my phone, or my subway card. So those are some of the reasons I believe your first suit should be a navy suit as well as some of the details you might consider if you want to get the most out of your purchase. Leave a comment below if you have any questions and let me know what video you would like to see in the future. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. That's all for now, guys. Thanks for watching and stay tailored.